Okay, Sean, we caught you a little bit late here. You're already hand off the ground, but this is from a three-point position. Uh, we're catching the swing in motion. That's real good, real low. And look at the angle that you've created coming off. We really like this. What is this telling us? That you're moving forward. And we really like that. we got a good, long position right up through the hip. Looks pretty good. Love to see that head get in line, but other than that, I think we're pretty happy. Maybe slightly overlifted here. That's creating a little bit too much of a shin angle, not quite parallel between the shins. And the only concern that that's going to bring us is where is that foot going to land relative to the center of mass. So coming back to the track, we see you get this distance. You're up on the, uh, I guess, a black or a red mark right about here. And the hip is lined up right around there. I might have had that a little bit off, so let's go foot and hip and you're pretty good. It might be a little bit in front there. You are a little bit in front, but not inappropriately so. Uh, one other thing I want to point out on this first step is the free arm. The lead arm here should be longer, up and over your head, reaching out beyond your head. Don't let that be too tight. Coming back to this step, there's the push. I think we're going to get another good, it's an okay swing, a little bit high. And forward motion. I worry a little bit about this. Are you getting a full extension here? I don't feel like you are. I feel like there's some play in this knee. I feel like the hip is not totally extended. I'm looking at this line. I'm seeing a lot of inconsistency for it. The leg is not all the way in there. The back is not all the way in there. I want to see everything lined up with that. So... Here's the line that you develop off the ground. Here's the free leg. Here's the shin. Again, a little bit of a concern of where that's going to come back down. You were good on the first one. So here's step one. Here's step two. Can't really see where that second mark is, but I'm thinking that it's right there. Step two. And it looks pretty good. It looks like the foot is again just about under the hips so we're definitely going to take that so not a problem with the braking forces but I would like to see more extension I don't feel like that second step got nearly the distance uh, that it should have relative to the quality of that first step